In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Sleeper app's new fantasy basketball platform. But before we get into the walkthrough and the tutorial, I want to make sure you understand Sleeper's game pick format. So I'm going to give you a quick and dirty breakdown just so you can understand the basics. So your starters play one game per week. Very important to note. You pick the best game for that for those players based on projections, opponents and their defense, and also whether they're playing home or away. And the team with the most points wins the week. It's a points league format only, and it's head to head. But again, your starters only play one game per week, which is an amazing, amazing format and involves a lot of strategy so before we dig in also i want to let you know we're not going to go over drafting in this video we're not going to focus on creating leagues or finding leagues that will be a separate video if you guys want it we're going to talk about if you have an existing account or if you're in sleeper and you're just trying to figure out how to navigate it and that's what we'll do so let's jump right into the app right now we're going to go over to the sleeper app and once you go into the sleeper app, most times they'll bring you back to where you were or what you were doing or the home page. And the home page here, you can see that um, they have the name of the league, which is Final Fantasy IV. Also, there's some tabs at the top that we'll go through, matchup, team, and league. And then, of course, we have a breakdown of the projections of what's going to happen in this week, which is week two. You can see here they also give you, um, you know, what... Uh, amount of players have been yet to play so if you look under the names of the teams game picker and the freak and the king or the king and the freak you can see yet to play five and yet to play eight so you can know how many players have played i'm um, also very really important at the bottom here there's a, uh, a little tab for league chat if you click that you can actually chat with your league mates and you can see any ads or drops also, um, any activity that's happening in the league, which is really cool. So let's go to the team uh, tab now. On the team tab, you can click this little settings cog right next to the name of your team. And once you click that, you have some options here. You can go to my team, which is really cool because you can actually come up with uh, cool nicknames for your, for your players. Like here we have Braddy McBeal, Clint Capone, just really fun stuff and uh, things that I haven't seen on other applications. Um, then you can go, uh, you know, and set your notifications manage co-owners etc um, the next thing is you see here that there's a button here with a jersey and a plus that says players that's essentially your waiver wire so here you can pick players that you want to add to your team all you have to do is click on the W there and then once you do that you get to pick you know which player you'd have to drop to actually keep them then you can also see the leaders you could also make trades it's just a really cool um you know platform and it's super clean so to go back what you want to do is swipe right and once you swipe right you can go to the trade button to see if you have any active trades transactions to see what's happening in the league close that and then, which is really cool, the news. So the news is catered to your team. So whatever players you have on your team, I have Luca, I have SGA. All of that information is about my players, which is really great. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go over um, to the... Uh, actually, let's look at the starters. So here on the team league, I'm going to show you how to actually pick your games. So as you can see here, let's look at Luka Doncic. For Luka Doncic, you can see he has um, the first game here was Tuesday against Houston, and it's colored in gray. That means that game has already happened. We did not pick that game. These ones that are orange but not um, colored in, those are games that are yet to come. So if I wanted him to play on the Thursday here, I would just press Thursday and it would light up. I'm actually selecting the Sunday, so that is where he is. Now, let's suppose you wanted to move him out. You would go down to your bench, and let's say we want to pick uh, De'Aaron Fox. You click that B in right next to his name. You click that B in, and then you would put him where Luca is, and you would just swap them out. I wouldn't ever do that, but I'm just doing that for the uh, sake of this video. Um, and then if you wanted to, really cool here, you have a button that says week two uh, right over here next to starters. You can click that arrow and you could set your lineups for week three. You can let, set your lineups for week four and so on. So it's really cool, um, you know, the way it's all set up. The next thing I want to do is talk about the... We're going to go to the top here for the league tab. On the league tab now, you want to... Um, take a look at 
what what's really important is looking at your your opposition and seeing what people's waiver position is so you can see here we're in a four-man league here and this is just a test league so we can kind of figure out the way the app works um waiver priority also you can see the recent activity and then when you click the cog here at the top this league settings cog you go into these settings and a lot, there's a lot of action that happens here. So the My Team tab is pretty much the same as the Team tab on the uh, the other um, page that we were on. But over here for General, you get to see what the league settings are, which is really important. You get to see the game mode. Is it a redraft league, keeper league? What's, what's the size of the league? And also what kind of waiver um, system do you have? And also when do waivers happen? pending trade reviews, just a lot of valuable information. So make sure before you commit to a league that you take a look at that. Also, something that's really cool, um, you can actually go back and look at your draft board, which I think is really fun. But uh, we have draft, roster, scoring, division, members, notifications, managed co-owners, draft results, league legend, league history, and how to play. So let's look at draft results because this is one of my favorite ones. You click on this and you can see the actual draft broken down like this, which is beautiful. I just think this is a great feature. You can always go back and figure out the value of your players. And then League Legend, for all of my new sleeper players, this will help you to understand the color coding on the platform. It'll help you get an idea of what these little arrows mean, trending up, trending down. It's just a really, really nice resource for any new players, okay? And then after that, I think we're all done. That's the basics of the Sleeper app. And again, I want to make sure you guys get the support that you need. So please, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. And also, subscribe to the channel. Tell a friend. Give us a hack saw Jim Duggan, which is a thumbs up. And please subscribe. My name is Robin Marks. Now get out there and make some game picks.